I, <laughs> okay, I'm having the hardest time. Oh, wait, there it is, finding light in my house right now. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm just going to go with this because I started out like my normal funny idiot self. So, <laughs> uh, don't do this first thing in the morning. That's the thing. <laughs> okay, what I want to talk to you guys about is exercise and protein. And, and the reason I want to go ahead and do this is because um, it's something that I am on a journey with, um, with my body. And um, as I wake up this morning, I, I noticed that through the weekend, I didn't have my protein. I didn't, um, I did exercise, but um, I did a lot of driving. And so with doing that, I, I didn't have my protein and I wasn't on my regular routine that I have developed. Um, and my body was telling me about it. And so I want to share that with you. And I want to share that, yes, we're all, we all become to a point where we're limited. And I was telling myself, I can't do, I can't do. And that's something I tell everyone, don't say, don't put that in your vocabulary. I am limited in, in what I can do as far as exercise, but not as much as I was limiting myself. Talk to your doctors, first and foremost. Talk to your doctors about protein intake. Uh, the protein my muscles needed. So thank you to everybody in my life that was on me about protein because I fought it. I fought it because it did upset my stomach. Um, and it does. It, it, it's a little hard on you if, if you're not used to it. You have to adjust. Um, you may have to take things like gas X or Beano or something to kind of help your system with it because it is a little tough. But when I have muscle cramps or muscle aches and I, I kept thinking, what is, what, what am I not doing right? Because I eat healthy. I, I, I eat so many fruits and vegetables I'm intaking, but what I don't eat is meat. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> Most people ask if I'm vegan and I'm like, nope, drink my milk and, and not a lot of it, but I do have my milk and I eat a lot of yogurt. So no, not vegan, you know, pretty close, but the protein is helping me. And when I don't have it, my muscles are screaming. They need it. So that's something I'm not getting enough of. And, and a lot of us don't. I don't care if you do eat meat. Um, I do eat fish, but not enough of it. And so the days when I got back and I, I did the exercises that I am doing and I had my protein shake, oh, yesterday I felt so much better. And so I encourage you to speak with your physician, uh, your neurologist mainly, because they know this illness far better than PCPs typically tend to do. Not knocking any PCPs out there, please. Uh, I'm really not. Um, but muscle cramps, the, the, the need to, like, it's almost like you can't stretch it out enough. You, you, you just hurt all over. Nothing helps it. I'm not saying that I don't hurt. I do. It's not helping everything, everywhere, all the way. But the exercises that I am doing, it, it's helping. Am I putting on weight? No. That part, it, it's not helping. <laughs> so I've stopped becoming frustrated with that as much. Um, but what I am noticing is it is helping the muscles. And um, so I'm just focused on that. I'm focused on strengthening the muscles I have. And I'm focused on the fact that... It, I feel better. I do have more energy. Um, I am not as fatigued. I My muscles don't hurt as bad. And the exercises that I'm doing are more focused on strength training, uh, not weightlifting, because I'm not going to do anything that's harmful to me. So with physical therapy ideas um, and ideas that are safe, that are have been given to me, um, that's more what I'm focused on. 
very careful in my situation with cardio exercises, and I am doing some because you have to. Um, I can't burn too much, but I need heart. You know, your, your, your heart is a muscle, so we have to exercise it. But when I say exercise, I also say time and time again, you guys have to talk to your physician because everybody has to do what's safe for them. But when you do any amount of activity, it helps you feel alive. It helps you feel better. Even if you are in a wheelchair, if you are in your bed, movement of any kind, working your mind, you know, getting on any website that helps you work your mind. You know, I, the, just the coordination of having to work your brain in any way working your hands, doing anything that creates a movement and a thought process and a mind exercise or anything is good for you. So, but, but I wanted to bring up the protein because I have to say thank you to, to everyone who is very, very close to me because really it's made a huge difference in my life. And yes, I, I know I look extremely exhausted. I've had a very busy short weekend and but I I wouldn't trade it for the world because it was a very meaningful weekend and it, I feel very accomplished from the weekend and but but I, I've learned you know without my protein in my system without my exercise every day and doing what I need to do my body tells me and it makes such a huge difference in my life so talk to your doctors for those of you who have the atrophy going on, for those of you who, you know, the protein is vital to our system. It's, it is critical. And I was, I, I'm behind now. So I want to share that with you because nobody was telling me about it before. Nobody was, nobody was talking to me. My, my neurologists weren't, weren't bringing it up. And by the time mine did, I'm playing catch up and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really scared really to a point and now I can't get any of that muscle back. It's gone. Now it's, I got to hold on to what I have. So I'm bringing it up because it's very important and it needs to be talked about. It needs to be shared. So I'll share progress as uh, progress is made. And, uh, but I wanted to discuss how much better you can feel on it. Um, so again, wanted to bring that up hugs to you guys um keeping strong okay no negativity positive mindset is everything uh i love you guys huge huge hugs